Hi guys, I'm Thermal and today I'm going to show you the Parry Ore Gem. It's for dual weapons only and it allows you to parry any of the moves. So firstly I'll show you how it works with monstrosities and you can parry all their leg swipes as well as their foot stomps and basically every move. You may end up with a tap battle when you parry their, their leg but it is definitely easier with the parry or gem. Normally you can only block or dodge their leg swipes. With all the titans you can parry the body attacks from them with the parry or gem. So that means you can parry their hand swipes, you can parry kicks and also you can parry headbutts like Ronin gives you. And lastly, with the Titans, you can parry the shields. So that can be useful for Titans like Thane, where he uses the shield bashes a lot. And again, normally you can only dodge or block with heavy weapon. But with this gem, you can parry the shields. You may want to use it for clash mobs, because there are challenges that are parry only, or you have to defeat them through parrying and if they use body parts that can be useful. So here's the pros and cons of the parry or gem. The ones I've explained with the pros, it's also handy for back game if you get parrying a monstrosity but it is seen as an easy gem and it makes the game easy and you can lose skills and some pro warriors do see it as a cheater's gem because it does make the game much easier. So the choice is yours, you might want to have some fun with it to give it a go, but overall, if you want to keep your skills up, then the way to go is obviously fighting without it. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. And if you did, please like, comment and subscribe to Infinity Blade Masters and my own channel, Tamil Channel. See you next time.